Hey guys, Chris from Adapt to Vision here, and in this video, I am going to show you the solution for question 3 from the Jan 2014 PUA paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the solution. Okay, so we have a partnerships question, and it says Jack and Jenny have been in partnership for several years, producing and selling a variety of items. The following balances were extracted from the books of partnership for the year ended 31st December 2013. So we have Jack and Jenny, we have capital account balances, 80 and 70,000 respectively. Current account balances, we have a bracket around the 500, which means that's a debit balance, and 2100 for Jenny, so no bracket implies a credit balance. Drawings, which is 6,000 for Jack and 4,000 for Jenny respectively. Now the question goes on to give us some more information. Net profit for the year is 39350 and information from the partnership agreement included the following. Profits and losses are to be shared 3 to 2 to Jack and Jenny respectively. Jenny is to receive a salary of 12000 per annum. Interest on capital is to be paid at a rate of 5% per annum. Interest on drawings is to be charged at a rate of 10% per annum. Now we have some other information regarding drawings here. We have Jack withdrew cash drawings of 6000 on 1st of April 2013. So they give us a specific date. I wonder why. Jenny withdrew cash drawings of 4000 on the 1st of July 2013. Hmm, interesting. Now what do they want us to do? So we have three requirements. Prepare the profit and loss appropriation account of Jack and Jenny for the year ended 31st December 2013. Then we have to prepare current accounts on 31st December 2013 and what is Jack's net worth? Alright, let's get the appropriation account going, shall we? Okay, so always remember to head up your appropriation account or your statements properly. The name of the partner's profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st December 2013, which is dollar size. So the first thing that's going to go here is the net profit for the year of 39350 To that, we are going to add interest on drawings. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. So the drawings figures are 6000 and 4000 for Jack and Jenny, respectively. But remember down here, they said interest on drawings is to be charged at a rate of 10% per annum. So do we just multiply 10% by 6000 and 4000 respectively and call that George? Well, no, it's Jack and Jenny actually, but that aside, what they told us here is that Jack took out his drawings on the 1st of April 2013. Now that means that if the year ended 31st December 2013, and Jack took out his drawings on the 1st of April. The drawings have only been outstanding for April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Nine months. They weren't outstanding for the entire year. Therefore, we cannot charge a full 10% interest because interest rates, unless otherwise stated, are always per annum or for a whole year. So how do we cater for this in this particular situation? You'll see here I have a working 10%, which is the interest rate, by 6,000, yes but also by 9 out of 12. Why 9 out of 12? Because the drawings were only taken for 9 months out of the entire year. An entire year is 12 months, so the drawings were only taken for 9 out of 12 months, which means that the interest charge on the drawings can only be for 9 out of 12 months. And the same logic is applied for Jenny. In Jenny's case, she withdrew cash on July 1st. So if it's the 1st of July, that's July, August, September, October, November, and December makes it 6. So Jenny's calculation for interest on drawings will be 10% of 4,000 by 6 out of 12, which gives us $200. So our total for interest on drawings will be 650, and when added to 39,350 from above, gives us an even 40,000. Now we can appropriate, or now we have the appropriation section rather. We're going to start with the interest on capital. Now it says here that the interest on capital is to be paid at a rate of 5% per annum. If we go a bit higher, we'll see the capital balances for Jack and Jenny are 80,000 and 70,000 respectively. So we're simply going to find 5% of 80,000 for Jack and 5% of 70,000 for Jenny, giving us 4,000 and 3,500 respectively, totaling 7,500. Now don't forget, Jenny is to receive a salary of 12,000 per annum. So we're going to include that 12,000 as part of the appropriation, giving us a subtotal of 19,005, which when subtracted from the 40,000 gives us 20,500. Now we have to share the remaining profit. What was the profit sharing ratio? So it said profits and losses are to be shared 3 to 2 to Jack and Jenny respectively. So we're going to put 3 fifths of the profit for Jack and 2 fifths for Jenny. Now how did I get 3 fifths and 2 fifths? Remember, you're supposed to add 3 and 2 
to get 5. And then you put each of the individual values, the 3 and the 2, over the 5 separately. So that's going to give us a 3 fifths, 2 fifths split, which is going to tie back to the same 20,005, leaving zero profit in the appropriation account. Okay, so with that said, let's take a look now at the current accounts. Okay, so the current accounts for a partnership track the partner's earnings and withdrawals from the partnership. Now, the majority of the information is going to come from the appropriation account because we can see all of the earnings and withdrawals there. The only thing that we need to take a look at that would not be there are the opening balances. So I'm going to put up a little screenshot with the opening balances here. Now, remember, we said that Jack had a debit balance at start, so we're going to put that on the debit side. And Jenny had a credit balance at start, so we're going to put that on the credit side. Now, the earnings of the partners include the following. The interest on capital, salary, and the share of remaining profit. So we are just going to plug those things in here. Now I mentioned withdrawals. What are withdrawals? Well, drawings as well as the interest on drawings. So we could see here the drawings figures of six and four, and the interest on drawings of four fifty and two thousand respect for uh, two hundred so respectively. So we're going to put in the six and four for drawings, the interest figures of four fifty and two hundred. Now to balance off the current accounts, we have to add up the figures on the debit side and the corresponding figures on the credit side and find the difference. This side is about 16,003, this is about 6950. So we're going to need a balance carried now from here, right? We're going to subtract, we'll take the total here and subtract the total of these figures and get the balance to be carried down here. And we'll do the same thing for Jenny. We'll add up these figures. Uh, what was that? For 17, 25, 7, 25, 8, minus 4, 2. So we're at 21, 6, something like that. And that's going to go on this side here because we, we're going to add up these figures, add up these figures, and then subtract. Right, so these are the balances, 93.50 and 21.6. And of course, when you add up the columns now, the totals for the partners will be the same. And of course, don't forget to bring down your balances on the credit side because they were carried down from the debit side. All right, we have one more part of this question. So the last thing they asked us to find was Jack's net worth as at the 31st of December 2013. So what is net worth? That's simply the, the value of the partner's investment as well as the partner's earnings. The partner's investment is his or her capital balance, which for Jack, I believe, was $80,000. And the earnings, that would be the balance in the current account. Now, now Jack's current account balance we just saw was $9,350. And all we have to do is add those two together and we'll get a total of $89,350 for Jack's net worth. Okay, guys, so there you have it. That's the solution for question three in the Jan 2014 PUA paper two. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I can. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out my website where you'll find some POA handouts that you might find useful. Anyway guys, again, thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.